You guys, I'm deploying an enterprise grade switch and wireless access points, and I get to bring you along for the journey. You see, a few months ago, HPE Networking and Sanon reached out to me with an exciting opportunity to review their devices. And I immediately started thinking to myself, what a great chance to take you guys along on an actual enterprise grade networking deployment. You see, networking has always been a huge passion of mine. In fact, it was this passion that propelled me from the help desk to designing the complete IT infrastructure for all our new hotels in my very first tech job. There are many things to consider when you're either deploying or upgrading your existing networks, and I wanna cover them all in this video. From the initial setup to performance in the real world environments, I want to give you a comprehensive look at what HPE Networking Instant On has to offer and really just things to consider when doing any type of networking deployment. Now, one thing to know, if you're looking to purchase any of the equipment I'm about to show you today, I'll definitely include some links to it down in the description. But one thing to note is HPE Networking Instant On actually used to be called Aruba Instant On. You can see the difference in the packaging here. Same great products, but just a new name to the brand. So first, let's dive into the, what HPE sent me and what we're going to be working with for this deployment today. So this is the HPE Instant On AP22. This access point is perfect for small to medium sized businesses as it supports super fast 802.11 AX Wi-Fi for improved performance and efficiency. With 1.8 gigabits per second of wireless throughput, ensuring Wireless devices have plenty of bandwidth. The Instant On AP22 is designed to provide superior client roaming with client match and secure guest Wi-Fi with simple setup. It is an excellent choice for environments that require reliability and secure wireless connectivity. They also sent me their AP32. The Instant On AP32 is a Wi-Fi 6 certified access point with six gigahertz spectrum capabilities to support your Wi-Fi 6E capable devices. It can connect up to 75 different devices at once and features a tri-band dual radio setup. Now, 75 clients isn't a hard limit, but is more of a recommendation. It also offers 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz bands. With a 2.5 gig ethernet uplink port, this ensures robust connectivity. This makes this ideal for high bandwidth applications and environments such as e-gaming centers and professional offices. The AP32 also supports advanced security features and is future ready for growing network demands. Now, one thing I'll note is even though these APs have a plastic cover, the back is solid metal. These things feel like they're built super sturdy. And that is one thing you get when you start to upgrade into an enterprise level networking, is just the build quality of your access points and devices. It's just gonna go up tremendously. And that is important because a lot of these times these APs are in the public eye and you don't want some dingy looking AP. You want something that looks nice, crisp and clean. Finally, to get all these devices connected together, HPE Instant On sent me their Instant On 1960 switch. This switch is easy to set up and manage with HPE's Instant On app. No technical experience is needed to get this up and running. The cloud-based access allows you to manage your network from anywhere at any time. With different models to choose from, you can either have 370, 480, or even 600 watts of PoE power, providing power to all your IP cameras, phones, or whatever other IoT devices you might have. Okay, so really quick, when planning the placement of your access points, there's several factors you need to take into account to ensure optimal coverage and performance. Proper planning can actually make a significant difference in the efficiency of your wireless networks. Here's a few things that you should be considering before actually performing your deployment. Before you even begin placing your APs, it is essential to conduct a thorough site survey. This helps identify potential areas of interference, dead zones, and really the best location for ASP placements. The current location you have your APs placed might not be the best place to place new APs. Tools such as heat mapping software can provide a visual representation of signal strength across different areas. Another thing you need to consider when planning a wireless deployment is determining the areas that need the most coverage. High traffic areas such as conference room, lobbies, and common areas will require more Wi-Fi capacity to handle larger client loads. Consider using a high-performance AP like the AP25 while using a AP22 or AP21 in lower density areas. Also, 
Place your APs away from potential sources of interference. Common sources include microwaves, cordless phones, or really just any other wireless device is good practice. Additionally, physical obstructions like walls, furniture, metallic objects can really affect signal strength. The height at which you actually place your APs can impact your signal strength and distribution. Generally, mounting the APs up high on like a ceiling provides the best coverage as it allows the signal to spread more evenly across the space. In high density environments, you might need more APs to ensure adequate coverage and capacity. However, placing APs too close to each other can cause overlap Overlapping signals and interference. So proper spacing is crucial to avoid these issues. Also, and a very important thing is to think ahead about your network scalability. Ensure that the AP placement allows for easy addition to more APs in the future as your network needs grow. This is especially important for business that anticipate rapid expansion. One great feature HPE's networking instant on features is smart mesh, which can be particularly useful for extending coverage in areas where ethernet cables are impractical. Mesh APs can easily communicate with other, creating a seamless networking experience. All right, let's go get everything installed and power on, and then I'm gonna walk you through the general setup. Well, welcome to my day job, everyone. We are actually in the Network Operations Center for a local internet service provider that services about 8,000 different customers. And today we're actually gonna be setting up this HPE instant on setup for their entire building. So we're gonna take you through step-by-step step of setting up the hardware. And the very first thing we're gonna do is gonna get the HPE instant on 1960 unboxed and racked up on the rack over here. Now, as you can tell, it is quite noisy. This is an active network operations center. So if after I edit everything and the audio sounds horrible, I'm just gonna voice it over and walk you through the steps. So. With that said, let's go ahead and dive on in. With different models to choose from, you can either have 370, 480, or even 600 watts of PoE power, providing power to all your IP cameras, phones, or whatever other IoT devices you might have. Now I got lucky here. I already had the shelf right underneath here where I wanted to mount it. So it's holding it for me in place. Note to the wise, don't tighten up all your screws so you get all the way in. Okay, now that we got that mounted up, go ahead and get the power supply connected. Getting the switch powered up is pretty easy, just simple matter of plugging it in and this automatically powers on. Keep in mind, the switch does take a few minutes for it to boot. You'll see the little cloud lights start blinking between green and orange once it's ready to be added to your profile. Now, getting the switch added to your account is quite simple. There's a simple barcode on the back of the switch that you can scan to enter the serial number or just manually enter the serial number of the switch into the app to be able to claim it once the switch is powered on and connected to the internet. Now, what I'm typing here should actually be the name of the whole network. For some reason, I thought it was just the switch and I accidentally just called it a core switch. Now that the switch is added, we can go ahead and plug our cables in and move to the install of the AP. With client match and secure guest Wi-Fi with simple setup. We can go ahead and plug our cables in and move to the install of the AP. Adding the APs to the app is extremely fast, especially if you already have an HPE instant on switch, as it auto discovers all the APs for you. Once you add the APs in, you just set your SSID, which is the name that you want everyone to see for your Wi-Fi, set your password, and just like that, you are ready to go. So as you can see, when testing network performance, we have observed significant improvements in the speed and coverage thanks to the advanced features of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E on the Instant On AP32. These tests highlight the real world benefits of upgrading to an HPE network Instant On device. So if you're considering upgrading your current network setup or planning a new deployment, the HPE Networking Instant Online offers a compelling mix of power, ease of use, and future-proof technology. If you're interested in learning more about HPE's networking instant on devices or want to pick up your own, check out the link down in the description. Now, if you're as pumped as I am about networking, 
and want to learn more about what you need to build a career in the networking field? Well, check out this video on screen now where I lay out everything, and I mean everything you need to know about starting and advancing your career in the networking field. So click on this video now, and I'll see you over there.